BAFTA goes to Chris Root for War and Peace. Imagine that any designer would know that uh, his or her work would be not a great deal without the help of and the work and the talent and the extraordinary um, hard work of the rest of their department. Um, War and Peace was not uh, the average uh, job. My department was made up of um, a crew from Germany, from Lithuania, and from Russia, and uh, just myself and uh, one from, from here. And um, I'm a bit speechless, actually, to be perfectly honest. But um, I'd like to say thanks uh, to Tom, the director, and to George, the cameraman, who made my work and my department's work look so fantastic. And um, I'd like to thank also See, I'm not sure. It's, I'm a bit speechless, really, to be totally honest. So I'd, I'd better stop there. Thank you so much. Production design for War and Peace. Surely, Chris, this has got to be a dream job to work on in, in your role. Um, I think it was. Um, it's quite a long time ago now. It's like two <laughs> years ago, and I'd sort of forgotten the dreams, I think, a bit. It, no, it was a... It was a I've always been interested in military history anyway, that's, you know, that's the war bit. Um, but it was, you know, it was a, a great chance to, to, to have a look at quite, quite an interesting sweep of history and also try and combine that with um, you know, what was really a very intimate and beautiful love story. So you know, we, what was great about it is that we did have the full spectrum to work with. So does that mean that historical accuracy is a thing that you, you get quite excited about or is that something that you, that you worry about? No, I didn't worry about it. Um, and um, I don't think you should be as... I don't think... Certainly this interpretation of the story and the way we wanted to portray it, I, we didn't need to be slaves to it. But I obviously didn't want to get anything obviously wrong. And, and when you, you know, military things, particularly when you're making something from scratch, we build all the cannons and things from scratch, you know, you have every chance to get it right, and, and I'm pretty sure we did. Um, by the same token, I'd be, you know, letting a few, sec wouldn't, you know, a few secrets out. I would suspect that, well, I, I know an awful lot of stuff that went in was not period. It's just so difficult to get stuff, particularly in Lithuania, I can assure you, um, you know, that is actually pre um, the period, so it would have to be 18th century, not, not 19th century, to get it, you know, in a country where there is uh, basically no prop buyer system or anything like that. So, you know, it, it, it's about tone, it's about creating mood, really. And what about um, the team? How, how do they, do, I suppose, how do you all come together? When do you come on board? How far along is the project? When does it all fall into place? Um, I came on board um, about six months before the shoot and started work um, a month or so after that um, and so at that point it is you know the director and the producer um, and you know the basic cast and the scripts are out but not finalized um, and it was an unusual job um, for me in that um, it was filmed in, in um, Lithuania and Russia and a little bit in Latvia and my crew was um, remarkable bunch of people in Lithuania, um, Russians, Germans, and just me and an English art director. So it was, you know, it was a good mix. And, um, you know, I, I hope, I really, really hope that whatever happens as, as England does whatever, or the UK does whatever it's going to do in Europe, that this sort of, you know, made in more than one country um, programme continues, you know, that, that sort of thing continues. Absolutely. And what, what an amazing show. Congratulations. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, very, very well done Excellent. on, on so the gong. Much. Good.